I'm Dr. Christopher Toma, NeuroRedeem, and today I'd like to show you an exercise that I share with many of my patients that come into my practice, and that's deep belly breathing. Many of you are breathing up in your shoulders, and as you do this all the time, your shoulders get to be tighter and tighter and tighter until you can just feel the stress and tension that's just all over you. The truth is we need to learn to relax our shoulders and we need to learn to breathe in our abdominal area. So when we take a breath in, our stomach comes out. When we breathe out, it goes in. Just nice, slow, rhythmic breathing. There's many benefits to this. One of the first benefits is anytime that you're stimulating your shoulders and your chest and the thoracic region, you're actually stimulating your sympathetics. And if you remember from the earlier videos, when you stimulate sympathetics, you're actually making yourself more nervous, more anxious. And anytime that we can stimulate the parasympathetics, we become more restful. So anytime we stimulate the abdominal area, the pelvic area, that is a sympathetic generating response. Anytime we stimulate anything from here to here, it's more sympathetic generating. So if we're breathing using our upper body in here, we're actually creating more of a sympathetic response, making ourselves more anxious, more worried. When we move abdominal region in and out as we breathe, we're actually making ourselves more relaxed. Now, many of you are gonna have a problem doing this right off the bat because you haven't done it before and you don't realize just the cadence of it. Many individuals will actually try to put their stomach out when they're breathing out and bring their stomach in when they're breathing in because they're used to lifting the shoulders which when you lift the shoulders, the stomach comes in. So when you're normally breathing, a lot of times you're gonna lift and pull the belly in. We want just the opposite. As you breathe in, the belly goes out. As you breathe out, belly comes in. So one of the easiest ways to demonstrate how to do this and how I do it with my patients is I have them put their hand on their belly. And many times I'll actually put my hand over top theirs to demonstrate. Now I just want you to take in a nice deep breath, whether it's in your shoulders or into your belly. And on the way, and as you're blowing this breath out, I want you to push in with your hand. So it's gonna look like this. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Now breathe into your belly. You can see that my stomach expands on the in breath and comes in on the out breath. Now, as you get a little better at this, you wanna to begin to breathe in through your nose on the in breath and out through your mouth on the out breath. So it's gonna look more like this. As you do this, when you first start out, you're actually gonna find that you're getting more oxygen into your system, and you may find yourself getting a little dizzy. If so, just stop, breathe normally for a while, and then take back up the exercises. If you're having a problem with maybe belly swelling or not digesting food properly, this is a good way to actually remedy those symptoms. About 90% of your lymph nodes are actually in your stomach and thoracic cavity, and so therefore, as you learn to breathe properly, you can actually flush the fluids through those lymph nodes, make them healthier and help your immune system out. You also find that when you do this too, you're gonna to use abdominal muscles differently and you may actually get a tighter abdominal area. Many people think by pushing out their abdominal area when they're breathing in, that they're actually gonna get weaker abs and expand their abdominal area. It's not true. This is how many of your best singers uh, breathe, how many of your athletes breathe. Uh, it actually will tighten up your abs and help with, help with your core. So now, many of you will have difficulty doing setting it up or have a difficulty doing it setting up. So I also want to demonstrate laying down. So as you lay down, you can still put your hand on your belly. And as you breathe in through your nose, the belly expands. And as you breathe out, and your parasympathetic nervous system will be stimulated and you'll actually relax and feel better after doing this deep breathing exercises. Now, you'll wanna practice it until in the end, you'll find that, that you can actually expand your hands when they're on the side. So you'll be
when you first start, your belly will go out, but your hands won't move. But after you get better at expanding the abdominal cavity as you breathe, you'll find that it becomes easier and easier. Now, I'd like for you to try these exercises, practice them daily, and you'll also find that if you do these when you're trying to go to sleep, that you'll sleep easier and you'll sleep longer and better. Have a great day.